each team is without a pretty important player. Alex Hemingway of Clemson, an emergency appendectomy a couple days ago. He's okay, but obviously not playing. Yeah, there are going to be some times when players have to switch. Nice look. And the slam for Francisco Capero and a foul to boot. Are going to be open because you go with the cutter, set a screen, just a little wide pin down. Two on the ball, they just drop it off. It could really wear on you the way that Virginia runs its offense. And you have to be really patient in this game if you're Clemson because it's a rhythm disrupting type of game. In the last two for Clemson, great against Notre Dame on the weekend and then terrific last night against NC State. And how about that? And Shefflin is such a good passer as well. Clark wide open behind a screen and he buries it. Last year they've got higher goals right now. I don't need two eyes to see the Clemson's a tournament team. I just use my magic eye. I mean, I don't even know why this is a discussion. This is an NCAA tournament team, period. So even the value of a performance in a really close loss, you lose in double overtime. That's not just a loss. That's a quality performance worthy of a win. That was a quality performance right there by Caden Shedrick. And good close out there by Chase Hunter. Now Beekman shut off on the baseline by Shefflin. Oh, that shot fake is so good. And the reverse for Kihei Clark. In off the bench for Virginia freshman Isaac McNeely, player of the year in the state of West Virginia last year. And he can do this. He can do that. Beekman, the defensive player of the year in the conference, and pretty good at the offensive end as well, but had oh. that one blocked and then saving it under your opponent's bucket. And you just got to take that one out of bounds. You can't risk it. The Tigers now scoreless for over three minutes. Not anymore. Tyson. Long, long stretch without a whistle. Franklin. Got it. For, for like a bubble drill right. into the bucket. Now last year they had a they had an episode where it took him three or four chances and Tony Bennett let him know about it, but that's an outstanding managerial crew. Shot clock inside five. Caparo, what a pass. And Murray will hit it, how about that? Just his second three of the season, now two of 12. Francisco, <laughs> that's fun to say was Cafaro until earlier this season when we were told he preferred Caparo. Shot clock at two. Beekman knows it. The follow will go for Jaden Gardner. Murray's hit a big shot. Shedrick in off the bench. Both ends of the floor with the injury to Vanderplas. They've still got good depth. Gardner, his second bucket in a row. All into the chest of Shedrick, and he converts. Well, it shows his strength there. When you've got the ball, you know exactly where key hit clock is. He's right near, <laughs> right near grill. Yep. Yeah, Beekman's more like that uh, free safety or nickelback. You don't see him until the ball's in the air. Pocket pass again. And Shedrick with an and one opportunity. Virginia offense at its finest right there. Yeah, especially at the lower possession rate that Virginia plays at. They don't have as many possessions as other teams in the league. Clemson needed that one. Hunter Tyson delivers with a three. Against NC State. Gardner got rid of it in a hurry. And Armand Franklin somehow got the offensive rebound with three Tigers right there. Remember that name over the next couple of years. And if you're a shirt maker, you can make some money off him with the extra sleeve length. <laughs> Good pass. My goodness. Clemson with just two offensive rebounds here in the half. Virginia, as you said, they don't typically get a lot, but they've got six offensive rebounds in the game. Another good pass. And another bucket. And Virginia doesn't foul very much. They make you make a tough two. Gardner takes a bump from Hall, regathers, and finishes. Galloway in some traffic, has it knocked away. Gotta go, gotta Clark, go. Clark doesn't know it. Didn't know it, and they don't get a shot off. Shefflin guarding Clark. Franklin into the paint, elevates and hits. He is having himself a very nice game. Franklin, beautiful feed and another bucket for Gardner. Boy, are they clicking. 
Another great pass. Clark to Gardner. And what a smile on the face of Jaden Gardner coming back down the court. Yeah, with a lot of the principles. I think it's more principle-based than doing exactly what Dick Bennett did. And, you know, I actually think Tony Bennett would be an outstanding coach in the NBA. Regular season ACC titles, two ACC tournament championships vying for a third this year. He has built an unbelievable program. Over that period, except for, not, not over that period, but it won the national championship, except for Purdue. He certainly is in the conversation this year as Beekman adds to the lead. Shot clock's at five. Godfrey on the drive. Tough shot. That'll go. You know, there was a time and fairly recently when Virginia was not clicking on all cylinders offensively. They had very... Ooh, they're clicking now. Shedrick is back in the rotation and making a lot of noise. A shot fake by Tyson, and it'll go. Had gone to a little bit of a smaller, small ball lineup with Ben Vanderplas, and it started working after that North Carolina game, and they started getting better offensively, so he's been out of that rotation. And I think this would have really helped Clemson's defense if Clemson gone to this earlier. Beekman. Franklin, no, but the follow by Gardner. But Virginia is just cutting up this defense. Chase Hunter at the other end for the Tigers. Today, tomorrow, and in some cases on Sunday, before we find out who's in, who's out, and who's going where. Turn around by P.J. Hall. Gets a touch, kicks it out. Franklin for three. Just good basketball. Galloway to Dylan Hunter. And he'll knock it down. Dylan Hunter made his second three of the season. But Amari Bailey, the talented freshman out of Sierra Canyon High School, he's stepping forward, and then Tiger Campbell is just a winner. Got a switch now. Hall on Clark. Gardner, Caffaro, and a chance for three. Just beautiful. Caffaro wasn't open because uh, he was being fronted. He wasn't open for the pass from the left wing from Kihei Clark, but uh, look at that cut by Gardner. It's, wow. it's beautiful. You you can't go out and try to do it yourself. you got to play within the system. Yeah, and you can't be selfish really anywhere and win. Selfish doesn't win. But you also have to get used to a different style of coaching. Shot clock at five. Clark for three. What do you do? I mean, what do you do? Because he's a weapon out there. You know, and quietly, the guy nobody ever talks about, Mark Mitchell, just as consistent as anybody in recent weeks for the Blue Devils. That tip it will go. I think it was Gardner. And obviously, with the size, the length of Shedrick, the size and the strength of Caparo, that comes in handy when you're playing a team as big as Duke is. No question. Was, uh, that, was, that was a magical uh, few days here. That kind of a night for Jaden Gardner. He's got 23 points to go with a dozen rebounds. But even when you come in at this time for Virginia, you got to run the stuff. You got to run the stuff. McNeely finds Murray in the corner for three. And that is going to do it. Impressive doesn't do it justice. Virginia 76, Clemson 56.